Hi everyone. Today we are going to study about frequency analysis and frequency spectrum of discrete time signals and the definition of discrete time Fourier transform. A periodic discrete time signal with the fundamental period n can be decomposed into n harmonically related frequency components. The summation of frequency components gives the Fourier series representation of periodic discrete time signal in which the discrete time signal is represented as a function of frequency of discrete time signal omega. The Fourier series of discrete time signal is called discrete time Fourier series or DTFS. The frequency components are also called as frequency spectrum of the discrete time signal. The Fourier representation of periodic discrete time signal has been extended to non-periodic signals by letting the fundamental period n to infinity. And this Fourier method of representing non-periodic discrete time signals as a function of frequency of discrete time signal omega is called Fourier transform of discrete time signal or discrete time Fourier transform DTFT. The Fourier representation of discrete time signal is known as frequency domain representation. In general, the Fourier series representation can be obtained only for periodic discrete time signals. But the Fourier transform technique can be applied to both periodic and non-periodic signals to obtain the frequency domain representation of the discrete time signals. The Fourier representation of discrete time signals can be used to perform frequency domain analysis of discrete time signals in which we can study the various frequency components present in the signal, magnitude and phase of various frequency components. The graphical plots of magnitude and phase as a function of frequency are also drawn. The plot of magnitude versus frequency is called magnitude spectrum and the plot of phase versus frequency is called the phase spectrum. In general, these plots are called frequency spectrum. Next topic is frequency spectrum of periodic discrete signals. Let x of n be a periodic discrete time signal. Now, the Fourier series representation of x of n is x of n equal to sigma k equal to 0 to n minus 1 ck e raised to j 2 pi k n divided by capital N where ck is the Fourier coefficient of kth harmonic component. The Fourier coefficient ck is a complex quantity and so it can be expressed in polar form as ck equal to modulus ck angle ck for k equal to 0, 1, 2, 3 up to n minus 1 where modulus of ck is magnitude of kth harmonic component and the term angle ck represent the phase of kth harmonic component. The plot of harmonic magnitude or phase of the discrete time signal versus k or harmonic frequency omega k is called frequency spectrum. The plot of harmonic magnitude versus k or omega k is called magnitude spectrum. And the plot of harmonic phase versus k or omega k is called phase spectrum. For a periodic discrete time signal with period n, there are n Fourier coefficients denoted as C0, C1, dash dash up to Cn minus 1. And the number of Fourier coefficients can be expressed as a sequence consisting of n values. 
So, Fourier coefficient CK is a set of C0, C1, C2 up to Cn minus 1. Magnitude spectrum modulus of CK is set of modulus C0, modulus C1, modulus C2 dash dash up to modulus Cn minus 1. Phase spectrum angle CK equal to set of angle C0, angle C1, angle C2 up to angle C n minus 1. The Fourier coefficients are periodic with period n. Therefore, frequency spectrum is also periodic. Therefore, CK plus n we can write it as CK. The Fourier coefficient CK of the discrete time signal x of n is defined as CK equal to 1 by n, sigma n equal to 0 to n minus 1, x of n, e raised to minus j2 pi kn by n. Now, we take CK plus n. So, the, from this definition, CK plus n is equal to 1 by n, sigma n equal to 0 to n minus 1, x of n, e raised to minus j2 pi Instead of this k, now we can put it as k plus n. So, k plus n into n divided by n. That is equal to 1 by n. Sigma n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n. Now, split this e raised to term into 2. So, it is e raised to minus j2 pi k n by n plus second term minus j2 pi capital N small n divided by capital N. Here we can cancel these n. Then it is equal to 1 by n sigma n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e raised to minus j2 pi k n by n into e raised to minus j2 pi n. And this e raised to minus j2 pi n that is 1. Therefore, this C k plus n is now equal to 1 by n sigma n equal to 0 to n minus 1 x of n e raised to minus j2 pi k n by capital N. That is actually the C k. So C k plus n is equal to C k. Frequency spectrum has two components. One is magnitude spectrum and the other is phase spectrum. Suppose Given CK is set of C0, C1, C2, which is equal to set 0, 1.527, angle minus 0.395 pi, 1.527, angle 0 0.395 pi. Then the magnitude CK from this given values, it is equal to set 0, for next one it is 1.527. Then third one it is 1.527. So magnitude CK, magnitude of the CK is set of these three values. And the phase of the CK, that is angle CK equal to set of, first one it is 0, so angle is also 0. Second one it is 0 0.395 pi. Third one it is 0 0.395 pi. So the set of these three values, it is phase for this uh, CK. And if we plot the value of modulus of CK versus K, then that spectrum we call it as magnitude spectrum. And here the first value K equal to 0, then magnitude is 0. That is the first point. Second value, when K equal to 1, magnitude is 1.527. Second one, k equal to 2, magnitude is again 1.527. And here the n is, capital N is 3 for this given set. And we know that c k plus 3 equal to c k because c k it is periodic in n. So we can repeat it again. So after this 2, 4 k equal to 3, again the magnitude is 0. And 4, again the magnitude is 1.527. 4k equal to 5, again it is 1.527. And in negative direction also, after the 0, it is 1.527 for minus 1. Then minus 2, it is 1.527. 
So this uh, entire graph that we call it as magnitude spectrum. So it is a plot of modulus CK versus K. And if we plot angle CK versus K, that is known as phase spectrum. So the first value for this angle, it is 0, 0 for K equal to 0. Then it is minus 0.395 pi for 1 and plus 0.395 pi for 2. Then again it is periodic in 3. So for 3 also it is 0. For 4 it is minus 0.395 pi and for 5 it is 0 0.395 pi. Negative direction also same thing, same thing repeats. So this plot that is uh, angle CK versus K, it is called phase spectrum. And this magnitude spectrum and phase spectrum together, that is known as frequency spectrum. Fourier transform of discrete time signal is called a discrete time Fourier transform or DTFT. Sometimes it is represented as FT. Let X of N equal to a discrete time signal, then x of e raised to j omega is known as Fourier transform of x of n. So Fourier transform of finite energy discrete time signal x of n is defined as x of e raised to j omega equal to f of x of n equal to sigma n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity x of n e raised to minus j omega n. Where this f is an operator that represents the Fourier transform. The Fourier transform of a signal is said to exist if it can be expressed in a valid functional form. Since the computation of Fourier transform involves summing of infinite number of terms. The Fourier transform exists only for the signals that are absolutely summable. That means the given signal x of n, the x of e raised to j omega exists only when sigma n equal to minus infinity to plus infinity modulus of x of n is less than infinity. Comparison of Fourier transform of discrete and continuous time signals. First one, Fourier transform of a continuous time signal consists of a spectrum with a frequency range minus infinity to plus infinity. Whereas Fourier transform of discrete time signal consists of a spectrum with a frequency range minus pi to plus pi and it is periodic with period 2 pi. Second one, Fourier transform of a continuous time signal. Here we are dealing with continuous signal. So it involves integration. But in discrete time signal, it involves summation because the signal is discrete in nature. 